Let me start today's video off with a riddle. What do Young Gravy, Addison Ray, Boxing, and my hatred for this video topic all have in common? I'll give you a hint. Addison Ray's mom is fucking Young Gravy and that made her dad mad, so he challenged Young Gravy to a boxing match even though he was cheating on her mom for like five months. Now he's trying to have sex with girls that are younger than Addison and the whole thing's kind of really his fault, but he's acting like a giant man child. You guys heard of Addison Ray? You know, the super famous TikTok star. Well, have you heard of her parents? Because they're doing some really weird stuff. Oh, what's that? Why am I talking about TikTok drama? I don't know, because it's ridiculous and I can't believe it's not a bad prepubescent romance novel. Today's topic does not seem real, but it is. So Addison's dad's name is Monty Lopez, and he's like if being a cringy parent was an Olympic sport and he's Usain Bolt. I don't give a fuck of what nobody think. I'm him. He acts like a 17-year-old who tries his absolute hardest to convince all of his friends that he doesn't have ED. And it is crazy to me that TikTok will make children act like adults, but adults act like children. I mean, he just can't seem to part ways with being young, even though he's a whopping 46, which really isn't even that old. But the way he acts makes it seem way older somehow. Okay, guess my age. Oh, let's see what TikTok comes up with. I'm kind of nervous. Let's see. I like to think that he had to record that multiple times to get the number he wanted. Let's see what age TikTok thinks my young ass is. <laughs> Shit. What's my age? Let's see it. No, dude, stop. What's the age? How old do I look? <laughs> dude, first try, too. <laughs> It's pretty funny because most of the time when a child becomes super famous, the fame goes to their head, the pressure becomes overwhelming, and they wind up spiraling into like drug addiction. But in this case, it seems like Monty's the one who's turning into Macaulay Culkin. And it's pretty clear that Monty is just trying to capitalize off of Addison's success, but Monty's getting a little carried away. I've read multiple accounts of him showing up to like TikTok parties and stuff, which wouldn't be that weird if he was with his daughter but he's not. A 46 year old man showing up to TikTok parties by himself. And there is no shortage of him being creepy on the internet with other young female TikTokers. Like, really young. Like, younger than Addison Young. Was that a baseball glove? Oh, probably because he's ready to catch a case. Now, this is a bad thing, and I think we can all agree on that, but Monty was already in a relationship, other than his wife, with a 25-year-old named Renee Ash, who looks so creepily similar to Addison, it's disgusting. I mean, this dude is basically like the movie Seventeen again, but instead of Zac Efron, it's Jeffrey Epstein. This dude is so down bad. And that's not even a short joke. Although he is 5'8". Dude, imagine your height being the same as your age. You know, like, 5'8". Like, like 58. Now I could show you guys even more videos of him doing creepy stuff like this, but this video is supposed to make you laugh, not feel like you belong in jail for watching it. I can only assume his constant creeping and cheating is what sadly tore the family apart, but I can't say for sure. But this is the part of the story where Addison's mom, Sherry, comes into play. Literally. So a while back, a rapper named Young Gravy, who is very well known for his constant stating of how much he loves MILFs, posted a TikTok about how he was coming back to the US and he was, and I quote, ready to butter some biscuits. I'd like to announce that I'm back in America. I'm looking to make some whoopee, you feel me? I'm trying to butter the biscuit. Now I hope you understand the connotation of that because I don't feel like explaining it. Now Addison's mother, who would technically qualify as a MILF, stitched the TikTok with this. I'm trying to butter the biscuit. Which is hilarious. I mean, look how aggressively she grabbed those biscuits. But at this time, Sherry and Monty were separated, so this is fair play. So eventually, Sherry and Gravy, or Shavy as I like to call them, they were exchanging DMs, talking, and it sounded like they were gonna go on a date together, which Young Gravy confirmed in this clip. Picture your first date, Addison Ray's mom. Something real, real classy. And I know you're sitting there and you're thinking, how long did you research this topic, Gravy? Too long. So just subscribe already. But I promise, I promise, all of this information is important because our favorite case ball player used this as a clout chasing opportunity to challenge Young Gravy to a boxing match. Let me put that in perspective for you. A 46 year old grown man challenged a guy only five years older than his own daughter to a boxing match because he was flirting with his ex-wife who left him because he cheated on her. Yup, that checks out. Where, where's, 
Oh, sorry, I was trying to find the logic in that. Anyways, this is the video that he posts challenging Young Gravy to a boxing match. What's going on, TikTok family? I want to give a shout out to all my Addison Ray fans, Ray family fans, Sherry Nicole fans, Monty Lopez fans. You ain't no rapper, man. Clean that up, man. You a singer. Go clean your bio up, bro. You ain't no rapper. You a fake rapper. There are so many things to be said about this clip. First of all, where are you filming? What is this room? It looks like you murdered all of the Sesame Street characters and then hung their skin on the wall as a prize. Now, I could go on and on about this Chuck E. Cheese inspired red room, but let's get to what he's saying. I love how he shouts out his ex-wife's fans as if he can like win them over or something. And then he says, And if you hate me, you really love me, you're just confused. They do hate you. At least you're self-aware about that. But the confusion is stemming from the fact that looking at this video makes me feel like I'm tripping on acid. Anyways, after shouting out literally the entire internet, this is the threat. Let me give a shout out to Young Gravy's fans. But Young Gravy needs to watch running his mouth talking about all those MILFs out there, because all those MILFs got some daddies, man, and some baby daddies. And those baby daddies, some of them are equally as bad as me. So watch him out when you're slapping your gums, bro. Well, Monty, I can say for sure, I hope no one's daddies are as bad as you are, because that would be terrible. If I didn't know any better, I would think he was making a threatening video towards a toddler. I'm not really sure how telling someone they're not a rapper, they're a singer is an insult. You pretty much just told him he has a good voice. And I can replace titles too, Monty. You're not a daddy. You're a creep. Anyways, Young Gravy's response to this was absolutely amazing. I'm just gonna play the clip for you. I'm a grown man. I'm not gonna fight you over TikTok drama. You got one of the most successful daughters in the world and you decide to act half her age to try to get some attention while embarrassing your whole family. So grow up, get some help. And if we cross paths in real life, don't do anything stupid. This is probably the exact advice Monty needed, given the fact that he's a 46-year-old horny teenager, and the best advice he probably ever got from his dad was age is just a number. And in case you were wondering, Monty, this is how adults talk. And that's not even the end of it. Monty has continued to post some of the cringiest videos I have seen, making fun of Gravy for not fighting him, and he even brought his ethnicity into it. Pretty bold claims coming from a guy whose preference of women is the ones he has to buy alcohol for. Nothing else really notable has happened since then, until the VMAs. This is what caused me to deep dive into this information that really just made me want to take a Razor scooter to the shin. At the 2022 VMAs, we see Shavy make their first public appearance, and a very PDA-filled one at that. That's what she said. And you know what? I, what was that? And that's honestly a harder punch than Gravy could have even hit Monty with in the boxing ring. Just flaunting your ex-wife out, giving her the attention that you never could. But my favorite part of this is Monty's response. Unbothered. Thank you, young Gravy, for taking the leftovers. But the way that he worded it sounded like a guy who's at the bar and gets turned down. Hey, my daughter's famous. Oh, you're not interested? It's all right, you're not even my type. Too old. I really don't care about all of this. And it shouldn't be anyone's business, but Monty can't help but to pull clout from Addison every chance that he gets. And I think that really sucks. And he's a terrible dad. I feel horrible for Addison. She really hasn't done anything wrong in this either. She's made a career out of this app, something that a lot of people long to do, but it seems like her parents are just trying to tarnish her brand every chance that they get. But overall, I just think this is absolutely hilarious, watching two middle-aged parents be more immature than their own daughter on the internet. Anyways, that's the extent of it all, and I hate myself now. I really can't believe I made an entire video on a topic like this. I guess the advice I'll leave you with today is please act your age and not your mentality. Bye! Did this guy inject Viagra directly into his balls or something? He's just way too horny. <laughs>